Hey everyone, welcome back to another Until Dawn hey. video. One of the biggest questions I see asked when playing the game is who of all the characters is the best and worst character in terms of morality? And I thought I'd share my ranking of the top 10 most immoral characters, and you can let me know in the comments if you agree or disagree with my choices and reasons, and I'm sure there will be plenty of disagreement. Let's jump in at number 10. For number 10 I have Hannah. Hannah's biggest moral failing is trying to hook up with Mike while he was dating Emily. While this is a bad move, it pales in comparison to the worst actions of other characters. She shows a lack of consideration for her friend's feelings, but since others have done far worse things, she sits comfortably at the top of the list. Stupid prank, okay? Uh, I'm sorry, Hannah. This all got out of hand, but... Uh... Mike! Damn. Number 9 is Beth. Beth only commits one significant immoral act in the game, dropping Hannah to save herself. This betrayal is particularly bad, I guess, since Hannah is her sister. She does show remorse for her actions when doing it indicating she understands the gravity of the situation. Since her choice was motivated by self-preservation, I can give her some slight leeway, but it remains a deeply troubling act. I'm so sorry. Number 8 is Jessica. She stands out as one of the few protagonists beside Josh who does not intentionally kill anyone. Although she kills a bird, and it's clear that wasn't an accident, despite saying she didn't do it on purpose, she did in fact aim at the bird. She also played the biggest role in orchestrating the original prank that led to the deaths of Hannah and Beth, as she set the whole thing up. Her true morality remains somewhat ambiguous though because she does spend much of the game injured and unable to fully engage in the unfolding events, so we can't really say for sure how she would have handled different situations, including murder for example. At number 7 I have, controversially, Emily. Emily is often labelled as unpleasant and I feel like she gets significantly ranked lower for just being a bit of a bitch sometimes, but personally I think it's more that she is more outspoken than the others and this makes it more noticeable. But I don't think she's as horrible as some people make her out to be. Too loud. Sounds like someone's bitter she didn't make the cut. Yeah, it's all a big cattle call with that dreamboat. Congrats, you're top cow. Cuts real deep calling Miss Homecoming a cow. One moment that raises eyebrows is when she pushes Ashley. It's unclear whether she meant to get ahead or if she tried to get her hurt. But to be fair, it was only an hour ago before this that Ashley tried to have her killed. One of those things. Oh, that's ridiculous. He said it was from eating each other. Remember, he said oh, that. Is that how it works? Yes. It happens. If it bit you, you're going to turn into one and then you're going to turn on us. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Her seeming indifference to Matt's death is often brought up as a point as well for why people don't like Emily. I personally disagree with that, which is why I don't have Emily very low down on my list. Oh, no, 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 no. He's just, oh my God, I was such a bitch. And I, I, you know, I maybe could have helped him. Maybe I could have saved him. Sam is in a bit of a bind regarding morality. While I know online she gets ranked as the most moral character, she can choose to blow up the lodge killing three people in order to save herself. And this action lowers her ranking significantly for me. It seems to come from panic rather than malice, and she does show remorse over Mike's death in the end credits. And through the game, she stands up for Emily and comforts Ashley over Chris's death, for example, which shows she does have some empathy, and she is the only one not to participate in Hannah's prank. However, the ambiguity of her actions, especially considering the potential for multiple deaths, warrants a lower position on the list for me personally, although I know it's controversial, especially having her lower than Emily, when a lot of people dislike Emily a lot more than they do Sam. Number five is Josh, and he fits squarely in the middle for two reasons. His actions, while not outright irredeemable, since nobody is permanently harmed or killed, he still does commit criminal acts regardless of what choices you make. 
His mental illness does raise questions about his moral agency, he clearly doesn't understand how powerful his pranks can be, and he even thought he was helping Chris and Ashley be together. Plus, he's one of the few who can't attempt to kill anyone, and shows remorse when confronted with the reality of others' deaths in the mines at the end of the game. So Josh's true morality can't really be determined because of his illness, though. No. No. Oh! 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 I did it. I didn't want you to die. Oh. Number four is Chris, and he does have his moments of morality. Like, he wants to save Sam in the basement, or to rescue Josh at his own expense when he's tied up in the barn, but he has three major actions that cast doubt on his morality. Shooting the squirrel for fun, which isn't a very good thing, hitting Josh with the 2x4 in retaliation, which I guess could be understandable, and trying to shoot Ashley. All put him in a questionable light. And he also doesn't seem to have too much of an issue with Mike shooting Emily in the basement. A lot of his actions are motivated by self-preservation, and I do think it would be a pain for him to follow through on most of it, which is why I guess I put him higher than, say, Mike and Ashley, but he's still able to try and shoot Ashley, potentially get Emily killed, and he does shoot a squirrel, so... Number three is Matt. While Emily had a reason to be upset with Ashley, Matt's decision to leave Jessica to die in the mines is just cold-hearted. He shows no hesitation in his choice, which is a significant issue. He also almost gets Emily killed in the fire tower, prioritizing his need to uncover the truth about her and Mike over her own safety. I'm coming! I'm coming! Em, this is pretty unsteady over here! Matt! You've got to do something right now! What are you waiting for? I'm thinking! Let me think! Don't think, you idiot! Just get me out of here! Is that why you still like Mike? He's a thinker. Matt! I don't... I saw you with him! Christ, Matt, we were just talking. Oh my god, this is not the time! Just tell me what's going on! Nothing, Matt! God! Just admit it! I, I was confused. So you fucked him! Please! Matt, I'm sorry. Now, will you please get me off this goddamn tower? Please, 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 Matt, just do something! When it comes to Jessica, his instincts seem to revolve solely around self-preservation, with little regard to how her well-being is choosing to rush through the mines ahead of her even though she can barely walk. Although I can understand the panic likely influenced his decision, his willingness to abandon Jessica for his own sake places him pretty low in the list. Number two, we have Ashley. Ashley does not get enough hate for her role in Mike shooting Emily. In fact, she plays a significant part in egging Mike on to pull the trigger to save herself, even though they could have easily have forced Emily out of the room instead of just resorting to murder. Additionally, Ashley has three major flaws. Her honesty decreases in the game if she shows remorse for the prank, indicating a self-interest over her integrity. And this definitely means she should be lower in the list than Chris, who did seem to show some remorse for the prank. Sorry. I mean, it was embarrassing, but come on, she didn't have to run into the woods half-naked and upset. It's not our fault what happened. That's pretty harsh, Ash. I mean, she was really upset. I'm just saying, maybe she kind of overreacted, you know? Oh. Jesus, what the fuck? She can lie about the truth of the bites being infectious, putting other people at risk, her abandonment of Chris if he shoots her in chapter 6, even if she's the one who begged him not to kill himself and to kill her instead. And even when he's trying to beg for her to open the door, she just lets him die. And this raises serious questions about her intentions or whether she genuinely cares. Overall, her reaction throughout the game reveal a troubling willingness to prioritize her survival over others. Chris! 
At number one, we have Mike. Mike played a major role in the original prank that triggered this whole nightmare. He uses the same line on Hannah and Jessica, showing he's manipulative. Maybe we should start with a little, you know, making out and see where it goes from there. Maybe we should start with a little, you know, making out and see where it goes from there. His honesty takes a hit if he chooses nice options when he's trying to flirt with Jessica meaning he's simply lying in order to sleep with her. He loves to call Josh a murderer, yet doesn't hesitate to shoot Emily, committing outright murder. Even in the credits, Mike defends his actions against Emily, revealing a bit of a narcissistic streak. Despite being a well-rounded character who can do various heroic things to save people, his true intentions for doing so can be called into question, particularly for his willingness to just straight up kill people, especially with someone who he's had a close relationship with. And that's why I think he is the most immoral character in the game. So let me know what you think. Who is the most and least moral characters? Let me know in the comments. Like and subscribe as well, and I will see you in the next video.